Okay, thank you, Jacqueline, for the introduction. And uh, I want to thank uh, for giving us this opportunity to, to show this work, which is, by the way, uh, a joint work with uh, Professor Anna Silvestre from IST, Lisbon, Portugal, and Professor Patricia Magnoli uh, from UTF. PR Brazil. Okay. Okay, the situation is this. So uh, the Kelvin void fluids is uh, in a way a regularization of the Never Stokes model. Okay. So here in the moment equation, we have this term which regularizes the Never Stokes equation. Uh, here, our uh, unknown is the velocity u and the pressure p, right? So here, in the nonlinear terms, we uh, put or we consider um, delays, okay? And we also consider delays in the external force. Uh, here, we have a part of the force which has no delay, but here we have another part with delay. So this condition, the, diverse, the divergence of U is zero means that the fluid is incompressible, right? So here, the fluid adheres to the, to the border of the cylinder, okay? And the initial, initial condition and the past of the solution. So uh, this, constants mu represent the viscosity of the, the, the fluid. Kappa represents the elasticity of the, the fluid. Uh, this number gamma is general, okay? And these three functions, alpha, beta, and rho, will be uh, specified later on. So the functional framework to treat this, this problem uh, in, we consider the usual space, the Lebesgue space, the, the Sobolev spaces, and we, we consider this space of functions which has uh, free divergence, okay? So in this way, we define XP and VP, the closure of this space in the norm of LP and H uh, W1, P0, respect, respectively. So uh, in this way, we can use the Helmut's decomposition for LP, right? And then we can talk about the projections, right? So we define the P, the P projection uh, from LP to XP. Uh, once we have this projection, we can talk about the Stokes operator, right? Which is given by this expression. And this operator has this domain. Oh, we also need uh, powers of this operator to treat this problem. Uh, in our case, you, we mainly need the, the powers half and minus half of this operator. So we have some uh, good properties for, for these operators and these powers because you can get some equivalent norms uh, in these spaces. So in this situation, we denote by UT, okay, the retard arguments of the velocity field u at time t. Uh, in this way, these expressions, which are here in the momentum equation, right? This term and this one could be understood like this. And if you do a changing of variable, uh, we can see this as two integrals from minus infinity to minus t, both, right? Um, in this way, this function ut means that for negative 
times, let's say like this, ut on, on this time means u in s plus t. So uh, in order to, to, to put this, uh, this problem in the LP context, uh, we need to, to, to construct the, um, the phase space, right? So we, we need to understand how can uh, put this space in order to, to things work well, work fine, right? So uh, we began considered by some subspace of XP, right? And then we can use the projection. We project the, 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 the equations, right? And then we get this system, okay? Here, uh, this F, uh, capital F and capital G are given by these two expressions. Uh, now we use the fact that this operator I plus kappa AP uh, has uh, an inverse, right? So when we apply this inverse, the, the last system becomes this system, okay? And now what we see is that this operator I plus kappa AP minus one minus AP, which is denoted here by BP, okay, play the, plays the, 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 the most important role here in this problem. We have been uh, working with this model without delays and in a previous uh, research. And that time we proved some good properties for this operator BP. Okay, we get this bound for the operator BP and we get uh, this estimate for generated by this operator. In particular, when you have P equals two, you, this same group is of contractions. Okay, here uh, we have to assume conditions on the, uh, those functions alpha and beta. Uh, we need some uh, conditions on the integrability of these quotients, okay? Here, P, P prime, Q, and Q uh, prime is not the, the conjugate exponent because there's some constant mu which appears here too, okay? So this function rho, uh, which has uh, these two, uh, satisfies these two conditions, okay? It's locally integrable in this interval, okay? And we get this bound uh, for this term, right? Will be the weight uh, function for defining some LP space. So, <clears throat> once you, we, we have some bounding space X, we will construct the, the phase space, which I denote here by Bx, right? Uh, like this. I'm talking about functions with, which are defined in minus infinity to zero with values in x. So in this interval minus r zero, this function should be continuous, right? And in this interval minus infin infinite minus R should be integrable. And here we are, are using the row function, okay? As a weight function for defining this L uh, mu space, right? So defining the BX uh, like this, we can put uh, on this space, this norm. So in this interval, we use the, the usual norm, okay? And in this interval, we use the norm of L mi, okay? Of course, here uh, we're considering uh, R uh, greater than zero and mu 
greater than or equals to one. So by uh, constructing Bx like this, we have these properties for the elements of Bx. Uh, in a way, if you have, uh, if you take sigma some in any real number, a greater than zero and some function u defined in this interval uh, on x into x, okay, which is continuous in this interval and in with uh, u sigma is in the, the, the phase space, then uh, the first property is that for all t greater than this sigma, the elements ut will be also in this space. Uh, we also have that uh, for t greater than this sigma, we can bound the norm of the element u on x, right? By the norm of this history u uh, in bx. We also get that there is, exists uh, functions k, okay, which is continuous in this domain with values in this uh, interval, okay, and there is exists a locally bounded function m, which uh, which is defined in this domain with with values in this. In a way that this function could be or this norm, uh, this norm could be bounded by this combination of this function uh, k, this supremum, this function m, and this norm on px, right? Uh, besides that, these functions k and m are independent of u, sigma, a, and t. Uh, also, we get that this uh, function for all t greater than uh, zero, uh, this uh, is continuous in this interval with values in Bx. Uh, another important property that we need is that uh, once you have a uh, bounding space Y, okay, and, and if you have some same group over it, right? And then when you define this class of uh, operators, this family, right, like this, right? you obtain a C0 semigroup on this space, uh, phase space, by, okay? In our case, uh, we are interested to use this semigroup of left shift, okay? Um, define on subspaces of xp, right? So, in this way, we get uh, the, the formulation, the abstract formulation for our problem once we have already uh, the phase space well constructed, right? Here in this last equation, um, by this symbol, I mean that US is the projection of the, the history of psi, okay, for negative times s. So the next point is to define what we understand by solutions. Indeed, here we will define three kinds of solution. Of course, uh, here the, the solution by solution, I mean the velocity solution, okay? Because the, the another uh, unknown is the pressure. So we treat this uh, later on. So here to simplify the, the notation, I, oh, sorry. I put uh, the projection of Psi as phi, uh, phi okay? And, we consider that uh, Q is greater than P. So the first definition is related to the classical solution for the problem five, 
for this problem. So in this situation, we consider the initial of data U0 in the domain of the Stokes operator, right? The projection of psi we consider in this phase space, right? Of course, by uh, we impose this condition, uh, compatibility condition, right? And here, uh, instead of uh, ask that uh, F, remember that F is the part of the external force which it has no delays, right? So instead of asking that uh, F uh, be continuous, okay, we ask that the projection of F should be continuous with values in XP. Because when you would define like this, in this way, we uh, uh, increase the, the, the class of functions which can be considered uh, as force of our problem, right? So in this situation, we say that some function u defined in minus infinite to t with values in xq is a classical solution of our system if u satisfies the following conditions. The first one, u should be continuous with values in the domain of the Stokes operator. The second condition, it should be differentiable and continuous. This derivative should be continuous with values in the domain of the operator, the Stokes operator. But of course, uh, here we exclude the zero, right? So the history uh, of u, I mean, the, the function which for each t associates the element ut, right, should be uh, a continuous function with value in bxp, OK? Um, besides of this process, of course, u must uh, satisfy the momentum equation. So this exactly what it said in this first equation. Right, and the two others conditions, the initial condition in the past, okay, uh, are verified. The next uh, type of solution that we define is the mild solution. In a way, uh, what we do, we, you see here for classical solution, we uh, ask, that uh, f, uh, I mean, the projection of f should be continuous. For the remind solution, we impose less. So in this situation, instead of continuity, we we ask that uh, the projection of f should be in L1 of xp. So in this situation, we are, we say that u some function defined in this interval with values in hk, okay, will be a mild solution for our problem if u is continuous with values in the domain of a operator. You see here, we have less than uh, here in the classical solution because here we ask that the derivative should be continuous. Here, we don't, uh, put this condition. This condition remains the same. And the so, oh, sorry. And you must satisfy the equation in this sense. I mean, there's uh, here I'm denoting by T, capital T, DP as the semi group generated by the, uh, the operator BP. Okay. Indeed, the operator ma, uh, mu BP. Right, so this uh, this U should satisfy this um, uh, let's say general uh, constant variation formula, right? Uh, the next uh, kind of solution that we will we will give is the 
weak solution. Here, uh, we wix the condition on F, right? So now, instead of asking that the projection of F should be in L1, we have that the, the power minus half of the Stokes operator applied in the projection should be an element in this, in this space, okay? So in this situation, we say that U defining this interval with values in XQ will be a weak solution, <coughs> sorry. If U is continuous now with values in VP, here this VP should be understood as as the domain of the power half of the domain of the operator, okay? So here, for mild solution, we see that U is continuous with, with values in this domain, the domain of the uh, Stokes operator, right? And here, it, it is, U is continuous with values in the power half of the same domain, right? the same operator, sorry. And the history of U remains uh, continuous with values in this uh, um, phase space, okay? Um, besides this, we need that this function, okay, should be here, okay? Because th this part is already in L1, okay? So you know, once we have this is in L1 of the key, then we can and you uh, satisfy this equation, this, this uh, equality, I mean, right? So we, we say that U is a weak solution. So concerning the, the the results of existence and some regularity of these solutions for this problem. Uh, here we consider the, the case N. Uh, N here could be two or three. Uh, we impose that P should be greater than N by two, okay, but finite, right? And in this uh, first result, we have that if you take the initial data U0 in VK, right? The projection of the, the past Psi in this phase space, okay? This compatibility condition uh, satisfied and the part of the uh, external force satisfies that the, the minus half uh, power of AP of the projection of F belongs to this space, then we, we have that there exists a unique weak solution for the problem. The idea to, to prove this is to, to use the point fix uh, argument, okay? Uh, besides this, we get some uh, um, kind of uh, uh, regularity for the histories in US, right? Uh, uh, this W here means the that uh, semi group that uh, I mentioned before, okay, which is uh, generated by the translation, the left shift uh, semi group, right? So if you have that, this, uh, this semi-group acts like this, right? Here for some, some gamma less than one, okay? Then this function will be in this space. Okay, the, the next result, uh, is concerning with my solution and classical solution for our problem, right? So besides of these conditions for 
uh, our data, right, for the force, okay, we improve a little bit, a little bit, the condition of the projection in zero. Okay, now we require that this projection should be in the domain of AK, right? So if you do this, we can prove that the weak solution that we have, uh, we, we got in the theorem one is indeed a mild solution, right? And in this case, you have that U, the solution, is holder continuum with this exponent gamma, right? And of course, is if we uh, allow that F is uh, continuous with value in XP, then this mild solution is also a unique, uh, the unique classical solution of our abstract problem, right? So in this situation, we have uh, the results concerning the velocity field, right? So the question is, what about the pressure? Because remember that uh, this, let me go back here. Here, okay. When I, I use this projection and uh, I mean, when I use this, this operator, right? And applying it in this equation, all the gradients will be, uh, how can I say, uh, the, the gradients of these of functions, which are in W1P, right? Uh, are the elements of the kernel of this uh, operator AP. Right, so when we apply the projection of this equation, this term, grad of P, disappears, right? So we, now we have to recover this term in order to get the solution, the pressure sol solution for the problem, okay? So the question is how can we do this? Well, the way, that we do this is we consider that uh, if you take the U, the, the classical solution U, right? It, it satisfies this equation, okay? And then we can think of extending this projection into the uh, distribution sense, okay? And, and then what we are, we are saying is that the projection applied in this term here, okay, this will be zero, right? Because we will obtain this from this equation, okay? But saying this, we, we are saying that this term is in the kernel of this projection, but the kernel of this projection is composed by uh, gradients of another functions, right? So in this way, we are saying that this term should be gradient sum function P, okay? And in this way, we get a existence sum pressure P. Of course, here we don't have uniqueness for the pressure, okay? Because uh, we, we, are, we, we guarantee the existence of this gradient, right? Indeed, the solutions that you, uh, the pressure solutions that you obtain the first only from constants, additive constants, okay? So in this way, we, this is uh, essentially what says the Ram's lemma, that every element in this, in the kernel of the projection should be some gradient, right? So, Okay, I have five minutes. Uh, so in this way, we get, uh, get the solution for the pressure and different kinds of solution for the, the velocity field, right? So here uh, I put some, some works that we have uh, used in this research, right? So this first one is for the construction of a, 
this one and this one, Heino and Batikai, mainly to construct the uh, phase space. Okay. Uh, this one is uh, about numbers of equation with delays we, because we we have to many times we compare compare the situation with the never stokes equation so in this case it it, it helps them uh, very much through us uh, in this work we we do the research we did the research but for problems uh, for this problem without delay right so but here we in this work we uh, work in a general uh, context also right and the the others are uh, mainly refer uh, mainly refer to to different uh, to fractional powers of the 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 stokes operators and something like this okay okay this is what i want to show to you thank you very much <laughs>